Hello, this is Candy from eyes2jesus.blogspot.com and today I'm going to share with you uh, how to quickly and easily do a mini planner or a mini home management binder. And this could cost you anywhere from about ten to fifteen dollars, give or take a few dollars depending on what you want to do. Um, you can get a mini binder starter kit, search on those words, mini binder starter kit on Amazon.com if you're a Prime member for $9.99 with free shipping. Uh, that will give you a mini binder that will hold a 5.5 by 8.5 paper. It will give you dividers with tabs and pockets, uh, clear page protectors, and filler paper. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and got that deal, um, but I'm not using the binder that came with it, but I'm using the filler stuff that came with it. The binder I'm keeping as a backup binder, but it was kind of ugly. So in addition to that $9.99, I then went down to Walmart and got me an Avery mini binder. This was $3 and some odd cents. Uh, they got various different kinds with pictures where they're all designed or plain where you can slide in your own pictures. About the same price for all. Uh, so this is the one that I picked out because it was really pretty. Uh, so I'll just show you a bit um, of mine, of how I put together mine. So I just took some uh, scratch scrapbook paper and uh, just kind of taped it here inside just to give a pretty background. And then I keep a dry erase marker. Uh, so I just took some tape, uh, folded it in half so it wasn't sticky, and then taped it on and made a loop to stick my dry erase marker in. And then I got some uh, sticky pad notes here for quick notes, you know, along with my scratchbook paper. So, oh, and in the rings my binder, that's where I just stick my pen. Uh, so I have an inspiration page, just a page of uh, some scriptures. And then, and then over here we got my routines page. So again, this is uh, one of the five dividers. I'm using all five dividers that uh, came in that $9.99 mini binder starter kit on Amazon. Um, and then I just took a label, wrote routines, put on a little sticker, and framed it in washi tape. And then I took some uh, scrapbook paper that I liked and just stuck it in the front pocket to make it look pretty. So, and then the paper clip is because I have something in the back pocket. I just got a printout from DonnaYoung.org. Um, if you want some free printouts for your binder or planner, uh, you can get them at DonnaYoung.org. It's fabulous. Um, and then that brings me to my routines page. So there's my morning, afternoon, before bed routines. And my daily to-do list, along with a sticky pad here for writing extra to-dos. And then my master schedule, which I just decorated with some washi tape. So this looked fun to do. Uh, yearly calendar of 2015, 2016. I just stuck on some blue washi tape to spice it up a bit. And then we got, oh, and I just got family pictures uh, throughout. Uh, and then we got uh, my monthly calendars. I just made it really quick in Microsoft Word and then printed it out. And then the next section is food. So we got my master grocery list and my meal list of all my meals. And then as we have the meal, I just check it off with my dry erase marker. When they're all checked off, I just erase them and start them over again. And then here's just some uh, recipes that I have printed out. A lot of my recipes I have memorized. For those I don't, I have them printed out. And then I also have some recipes in here that I want to try. And then that brings us to the chores section. So I got my daily chores and my cleaning projects and my children's chores, and my children's projects for them to do for organizing. And then a printout of an article I wrote years ago called the Emergency Quick Clean. Uh, that is on my webpage at eyes2jesus.blogspot.com. And this is for if you've had a really hectic week and you didn't get much cleaning done, then you can go through this nine-step process to get your house back into order. So, and then next would be homeschool section. So, inside the pocket here, I have a paper clip so it doesn't fall out. I have a printout of the state homeschool laws, and then I also have a copy of our homeschool curriculum from a few years ago uh, for reference. And then here is our current homeschool curriculum for 2015-2016 that will be starting up pretty soon. And then the reading lists, copy work assignments, uh, our homeschool schedule, and then I have homeschool stuff from our previous year. 
Uh, and then we have my budget and more section. Obviously, I'm not going to show you what's in this section. Um, but yeah, you see, I use pretty paper. Uh, but it's got um, on the inner pocket inside this binder, when I get bills, uh, they go in the inner pocket and paper clipped in. There's no paper clip up there right now because uh, we don't have any bills waiting to be paid at the moment. Um, but then I have like papers in there on our budgeting and all that fun stuff. Um, but as you see, it's budget and more. And that's because I have other stuff in there besides just budget. I have uh, a list of gift ideas. Uh, for friends and family and then I also have uh, phone numbers because uh, I don't want to just depend on my cell phone for people's phone numbers so it's nice to have it written down as well and then after that I just have um, some extra page protectors some extra notebook paper and then it's a few papers in the back pocket of the binder so yeah for as cheap as $9.99 if you're an Amazon Prime member you can put together a mini planner and then you can personalize it um, if you want uh, a nicer binder than what comes with the Amazon, that's on Amazon, the uh, mini binder starter kit. If you want a nicer binder, then it's still worth it to get the starter kit and then just spend a few dollars down at uh, Walmart or Staples and pick yourself out a nice binder. Um, and then you have everything you need. I mean, other than that, you know, I used colored paper and scrapbook paper uh, to decorate along with washi tape and the occasional sticker but uh, you can decorate as little or as much as you want or not at all so you personalize your home management binder to fit you and that makes it more valuable than any of those expensive pre-made planners that you can get out there I would like to show you a tour of my planner this, this was given to me by a friend my mom gave me two butterfly stickers. This one on the smaller one. I just sticked it right on here. I thought it looked cute. And then, now, this washi tape. I'll show you that. And it came with another one that, okay, these two, yeah, these two came together. This one and this one. And yeah, so, see those, see? And that was from Dollar General. And I got more of this really pretty washi tape. Oh, I have to these sticky notes and stuff. Yeah, the sticky notes. These two, pink and purple, got them from Walmart for a couple dollars. So that's that. And then I got this on the back. Uh, yes, inspiration page, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. And then I got more glittery washi tape around the edges and more butterfly in the top and bottom. And then routines. Got these really nice metallic little sticker letters. And I don't know where I got those. My mom gave them to me. There's this. My morning room chores. There's all that. And then my before bed routine. And I got stickers and that. Okay, my to-do list. See, morning room chores, table chores after each meal, homeschool, personal Bible and prayer time, exercise, daily cleaning chores that mom assigns, and before bed routine. And chores. Oh, here we go. Okay. Recipes. Other. Alright, now that is a tour of my planner. Okay. Hope you enjoyed.